Good evening, everyone. We start tonight focused on the past and the first competition at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Only spectators were not looking to the track. They were looking at the sky. News 8's Danielle Zakowski uh, diving into the record books tonight. She joins us in studio to explain, Danielle. Well, you might think the first race at the Speedway happened on the Brickyard, but it took a few years and a few hot air balloons before that iconic track came to life. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway held its first ever competition on June 5, 1909, when a handful of hot air balloons took to the sky to see who could fly the longest distance. So it was a hot air balloon race, which is a little bit of an oddity today, but back then it was a hot ticket. Um, so they staged all the balloons here, and this was the start of the balloon race, and they traveled across different states. John Barry, the balloon pilot, and his aide, Paul McCullough, won the endurance race after flying for 35 hours. This hot air balloon race helped the Speedway become the iconic racing venue it is today. The first competition ever held at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway actually wasn't on the track surface. It was before the track was completed in an effort to get some spectators out here, build the hype about IMS, and, and regain some revenue from the capital they had spent here uh, constructing the track. It was a few more months before cars took to the track in 1909. A motorcycle race officially christened the Speedway on August 14th. It was on a pavement that wasn't brick yet, so they originally made it out of crushed tar or crushed rock and sprayed it down with tar to kind of hold it all together. The first event a little bit treacherous for the motorcycles that at the time had very thin tires. A series of car races took place shortly after. On August 19, 1909, the first automobile race started the over century long history of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. In the first automobile races, the, the heaviness of the automobiles kind of broke up that surface. So by 1910, they actually paved it with 3.2 million bricks to actually make it smoother. The rest is history as drivers prepare to compete in the 108th running of the Indy 500. IMS was created in large part to test automotive technology and can largely be credited with a lot of advances in vehicles and their safety that we all enjoy today. I'm Danielle Solkowski for WISH TV, WISHTV.com and follow us on Facebook for updates.